Okay, today I'm going to do this uh, E150 van. It's a Ford. Uh, we're going to replace the automatic transmission filter and how many cores it takes. Here's the kit that I got from my local auto parts dealer. This is what we're supposed to use, Mercuron 5. Because if you look up in the manual, transmission it says fluid specifications under transmission 264. Looking at page 264. Here's engine oil, power steering, automatic transmission fluid. It says 13.9 quarts, Mercuron 5. Well, the same thing for the power steering, too. That's usually about the same. Uh, but we're not going to use all 13 quarts because all I'm going to do is take the oil out of the pan and replace the filter. And I'm not going to flush the whole system because I normally do not do that. Automatic transmission fluid. Merc run by. So I just pull this little dipstick out. Still nice and hot. And it it's okay. See it also says here. So here we're on the level. So now we're going to drain the fluid and see how much it takes and then I'll know how much to put back in. Okay, so here is the automatic transmission pan notice it does not have a drain plug so there's uh, let's see 2 4 6 8 10 12 13 14 and these happen to be number 10 metric so I'm going to loosen everything up and sort of keep these bolts in and then I'm going to when most of these are off and then I will loosen finish loosening these let the, the pan tip out and let most of the, drain, the water, the fluid, drain off. Okay, here we are. So let's just start. These are another pins. I almost don't need a wrench for it. You can start seeing it coming out a little bit, stripping here and there. Okay, here it comes. Loosen up a couple more. Okay. Loosen up a couple more. So we just have two more bolts on this side. So I just hold the pan up. Okay. There we go. Okay. Here's the transmission itself. If you notice on the sides here, on the rim, it, was never, it doesn't have any gasket material at all, so it's all on top of the pan, and we'll look at that later on. So, uh, so it doesn't continue to leak.
Every car company uses a different method to fasten the automatic transmission filter to the bottom of the automatic transmission. Most of them use two screws. Ford chooses not to. And just wiggle that off. So, here's the filter, and I'll show that outside. And here's where the hole is. Where it came from. See, here's where the shifter is. And then here's the mechanism inside the transmission, and it just moves this it moves this rod back and forth and I don't know what goes on inside there. I have no idea. Okay, let's look at the filters and see what happens. Okay, here's the pan. And here's our here's the filter. Here's our new filter. So it's exactly exactly the same thing except this has a little S on it so that probably means it's a genuine Ford this is a genuine replacement so let's care of that okay now let's look at inside here uh, it says in instructions when I bought the filter it comes with a gasket but if it says the gasket the original gasket is good to use this one so doesn't seem to be a problem and it also mentions it on the bottom I'll show that to you too so we'll just set this off to the side and let's look inside here okay let me ah here's a yellow thing hang on Okay, so this car has, or this truck has 50,000 miles on it, and here's what's left inside the pan. This is the metal uh, shavings from the clutches, but there's hardly any. And same thing with the magnet. Here's a magnet that picks up a lot of this stuff. There's not much stuff on it. I've seen these with the whole bottom of the pan, all metallic particles. There's nothing. Also, look at this. What do you think that is? Now, normally, if I didn't know better, because some one of my good buddies told me, I'd be looking for months to try to figure out what fell off the transmission, and I'd just be really aggravated. Well, what happens is when Ford puts these transmissions together, they put this plug in the dipstick that comes down here, and that sits in a position like this. And then when they put fluid in it, I guess for the first time it pops this down and lets the fluid come out. I guess this is like sort of to keep uh, dirt, anything else from falling down. So this thing belongs with the old filter. We can throw that out. But I just wanted to mention that uh, so you wouldn't be struggling like I probably would have been. All right, so now I want to clean the pan a little bit. Once again, people use all kinds of special stuff. I use my standard beautiful gasoline. So just wipe this thing nice and clean. And especially wipe up. Clean this magnet. So all those particles are gone. You want a fresh start because you're not going to do this again for another, I don't know, 50,000, 60, 70,000 on some of these cars. Wait a minute. Jeez. That's, that's pretty easy, huh? There you go, nice and super clean. Clean this magnet. Look at that. Just drop it right back in there. So I just I went. 
the outside down too. Oh, no. Here's what it says. Pan is equipped with a reusable gasket. Well, I've never seen that before. It's pretty impressive. So. Just clean this off really nice. So here's the instructions for vehicles with rigid molded pan gasket, which is this one. If your vehicle contains a re reusable pan gasket, please reuse it if not damaged or bent, or does not have crushed bolt holes, cracks, breaks, or cracks. If the reusable pan gasket is damaged, you have the choice of either using a neoprene pan gasket supplied in this kit, or contact your supplier. Forget that. I'm not going to go to Ford. So, since that's what they recommend, and there's nothing wrong with this, and it says it on a pan, and I'm going to use this. Okay, so the next thing is, let's put the filter back in there, bolt up the pan, and then we can put fluid in it. Here we are, underneath the car. It's all done dripping. If it makes any difference. Let me just clean all the way around. It's nice and clean there. Perfect. Now, you might want to wear safety glasses. Um, I wear glasses because I can't see getting too old for this stuff. But anyway, let me uh, just take a little automatic transmission fluid right off the top and rub it right on here. Okay, and it goes right inside this hole. So all we do is push it in there, snap it in, voila, not hard at all. Then we lift our pan up. Of course it's easy now because there's no fluid in it. Look at that, unbelievable. Okay, so we got one in there. It's always better to start these by hand. The other thing I like about that transmission fluid, it's a real clean oil and it's easy to clean up and it's, it's not like motor oil where it's black. <laughs> you can actually probably put some transmission fluid on your hands just to clean up the rest of the oil. Okay, see how easy that's going on? Up into it. It's not even hard. I just lay it on the ground. That's all. That's the hardest part. So we'll tighten this up. We'll just buzz along here and we'll come back for a final tightening. Because remember they won't tighten that much. Okay. So we have them all snug. So let's tighten them crossways. So let's just start in the center. Yeah, I guess you could use a torque wrench. I don't because I'm just doing it so long that I sort of know just by feel how much you could tighten it without getting yourself in trouble. Remember, these are aluminum. Don't over tighten them because you don't want to strip these. You're going to be pissed off. Okay, I think that's where we started. Yep. Okay, so that takes care of that. Oh, 
pan is up there. The fluid's in. I mean, the, the filter's in here. The pan's all bolted up. Okay, now we have to go and add fluid. Okay. Here, what we're going to do, I got a gallon container here. I want to see how much fluid I took out so I have a general idea, well, exact idea how much I need to put in. Because when I checked it, before we started, it was full. And you got to make sure not to overfill these because it's hard to get that fluid back out. You got to crack that pan because there's no drain plug. Okay, look at that. All right, I'd say that's four quarts and a little bit more. And we'll tell exactly how much it is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these in and then I'm going to fill it and see exactly how much more I need to go. So, where do you fill this? Right where you go to check it. Okay, so we'll start with four. Remember, uh, Mercron number five. Okay, so when I was a kid, I used to work at a gas station or a, a garage. What I would do is, I would, at this point, I'd stop. I'd tip all these bottles upside down. And over the course of many oil changes, I'd get free oil for myself. Remember, don't put it in there too fast because it has to go down that little tube. You want to do as little cleanup as possible. And like I said, I only change the fluid in the pan and the filter. I don't bleed the system. Some people do. I usually don't. I don't see that it's, the fluid was that dirty to start with. And there wasn't that many metal filings in the pan. Let's see how much more we need. We put four quarts in there already. We took out four quarts. here on the side and it's and it says what 12 well basically it looks like it's eh, probably between a third and a half a quart I'll go with a third so let's see half so maybe that much Yeah, just touch more. Okay, that's it. I want to stop. I want to check the level because I don't want to take any out. Um, so let me start the car and uh, let it run. So what I have to do is probably look for leaks. But first, I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to put it in reverse. This way, uh, it gets everybody activated. The whole transmission goes through all the uh, passages, fills all the passages up, going through the filter. Then I'll put it in drive. Okay, then I'll stop it and I'll put it in reverse. So I'll drive one more time and I'll put it in park. Okay, now I will go out and check the fluid. Notice there's driveway's got oil over it, so I wipe it like that, but it's not leaking, so we know that we put the pan on correctly. Okay, here's our dipstick. Let's see where it is. Okay, so there's no fluid on it, so let's see where it is. like we're right up to where we should be 
Where it says do not add anymore. Four and a third out with four thirds back. So that's it. That's how you do this whole thing. It's not that hard. It takes a little time. Uh, we, use, we reuse the gasket. You see how easy the um, the filter just plugs in. There's no bolts in it. Nothing. You know what I mean? So. Well, it actually says made in the USA. Pretty impressive. Uh, and it doesn't make, I, don't, I have no uh, uh, loyalty to any brand, Valvoline, uh, Mobile One, Supreme, whatever, as long as it's Mercon number five, automatic transmission fluid. Just make sure, get it right, look in the manual. Or if you don't know what you're doing, ask the uh, guy at the auto parts store, he'll help you out. So, that's it. That's how you do it.